Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we will download PHP and Composer and install them on Windows. Before that, let's quickly look at Composer to know what exactly it is. What is Composer? Well, Composer is a tool for dependency management in PHP. In other words, it is a dependency manager for PHP. This message is from their official website, getcomposer.org. There are some facts that we need to understand about Composer. It is written in PHP. And to use Composer, you first need to have PHP installed on your system. So PHP is a requirement to use Composer. Composer can be used to manage PHP packages. It allows you to declare the libraries your project depends on and it will manage, in other words, install and update them for you. In the process of this video, we will carry out some tasks. We will download and install PHP. We will download and install Composer. We will set environment variable for it. You can do a Google search for download PHP or download Composer to get to the official website. We can also follow these links to get to their official website. But for now, let's do a Google search to get to their official website. I mean the one for PHP download. Now, open your web browser and go to Google. Any web browser will be fine. Type in PHP download. And this result page will come up. Click on the first one, which is for php.net. And this will take you to the official website. As at the time of doing this video, it says the current stable version is PHP 8.3.10. I am on Windows. Now to download it, I will click here, Windows Downloads. And this page will open. Here we have non thread save options and the thread save options. So we will go for the thread save option. It is a zip file, so click on zip. And this is for S64 bit. It is downloading. Great. Now it has finished downloading. Let's go to where it was downloaded to on our system. In my case, I will click on show in folder. And it shows here now that it was downloaded to my downloads folder. Find that where yours was downloaded to. It is a zip file, so let's extract it. I am going to unzip it, right click on it extract to this location great now i have extracted it i am going to rename it i will right click on it rename now i will rename it to php hyphen 8.3.10 now I have renamed it to php-8.3.10. Now I am going to copy this folder and put it in the program files on my C drive. I will right click on it. Copy. Now I will open a new Windows Explorer. We'll go to my C drive. Now on my C drive, I will go to program files. Now I will right click here and paste the folder I just copied. Because it needs administrator's permission, I will click continue. Great. Now I have PHP 
hyphen eight dot three dot ten inside my programs file folder on the C drive. So what I have just done here now is to copy it from the downloads folder to that location. Now I'll close this one. Okay, now inside the program files folder on my C drive, I will open the PHP folder. Now copy the path. We are going to set the environment variable this time. Copy everything so that it ends with backslash php hyphen 8.3.10. Copy it. Now let's set the environment variable. In the set area on bottom left, type in variable. And it will bring up the edit system environment variable option. Click on it. For the system properties, make sure you are under the advanced menu. Click environment variables. And now for the system variables, click on path. This one here, path. Now click on edit. And here, click new. Now paste the part that you have just copied. This part is same as this one here. Now click OK. OK. And OK. That's OK for everything. Now we have successfully installed PHP and we have set the environment variable for the part. The next thing for us to do now is to download and install Composer. To do that, we open our web browser and go to Google and type in Composer Download. Composer Download. This result page we open. Click on the top one here, which is Download Composer, and it's from the official website. And this page we open. Here it says Download and Run Composer-Setup.ese. Click on this one. It is downloading. Great. It has finished downloading. Show in folder. And this will take us to the downloads folder where it was downloaded to. Find out where yours was downloaded to. It is an executable file, so let's double click on it to install it. When this window opens, click on install for all users, which is recommended. Now, this page we open, click Next. Here, if you have another version of PHP installed on your system, it will come up. So you can choose which one you are going to use. In my case, I have another version of PHP installed, which is for ZAMP. So I have two options here now. The one we just installed is this one here, which is Program Files PHP-8.3.10. So here it says choose the command line PHP you want to use. Because I have multiple versions on my system, I have selected the one that I just installed, which is on C drive, program files, php-8.3.10, backslash php.esc. So that is the one I'm going to use out of the options I have. And here it says add this php to your part, it will replace the existing entry. In my case, I will click this button. In your case, if you don't have another version of it, don't click it. So I will click it and click Next. Here, click Next. And here it shows information about the installation. And I will click Install. And click Next. Great, it says completing Composer Setup. Now click Finish. Now the installation is done. 
Great. Now we have installed PHP, set the environment variable successfully. We have installed Composer successfully. Now let's check to see that we have done the installation correctly. To do that, I'll open the CMD, that's the command prompt. Type in here CMD. Open the command prompt. Now I will type in PHP space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. Great. Yeah, it shows that we have installed PHP 8.3.10 on our system. Now let's do the same thing for composer. I'll say composer space hyphen hyphen version. Hit enter. Great. Now it says that we have composer version 2.7.7 installed. And the PHP version is 8.3.10. So we have successfully installed both PHP and Composer on our system. This is how you install PHP and Composer on Windows. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.